Hi guys, today I'm going to show you this digital camera for kids and vlogging but also can be used as a PC camera like for meetings or so. It has a 16 times zoom and many many other features. Also a built-in microphone and speaker. Here we have it. Looks like it's available in different colors. So let's open the box and see what we get. Comes in a nice transportation and storage bag. And here we get a lot of accessories like batteries and charging cable, even micro SD card. And yeah, here again, batteries and even cleaning towel and some instructions manual. I'm not going to show you everything, but maybe that's the most important part here with the main function so you can get an impression what you could do with this camera but i'm going to show you and explain everything anyway so here we have it really stylish beautiful comes even with some screen protector in the back the good thing also even though it looks very solid and stylish it's not too heavy so we have to open the battery compartment with just pushing to this side Here's also the opening for the micro SD card. Just push it inside. And here we have one of the two batteries. Comes with a whopping 700 milliamps lithium ion. This is exactly what we want to see. And we have to align it here with the pins inside. And so we push it here inside and make sure it gets a nice lock. And then we can also secure this here. And we are ready to charge it. By the way, the charging cable is USB-A to USB-C. This is exactly what we want to see in 2022. So we can just charge it here from this side. What's also nice that it comes with this standard tripod mount. And then we get also a hand strap, which is very good, especially for children. And we can secure it here on the camera. So this can be very helpful to prevent drops. And we do not only get the USB charging cable, we get also the charging adapter or the power brick. We can just plug it in into the wall and then charge the camera. And so this is how it works. We turn it on here on top with a long press. And then the most important button is the mode here. We can switch between photo and video and the playback you can see one of the nice images which i've been shooting outside already here and so here you can switch through the images and videos and everything and when we have a video we can play it directly from here you can see that really really nice or delete it or whatsoever but of course first we have to shoot some images and so we can do that in the photo mode you can see that here you can make some images takes a little bit of time when we are activating the stabilization but of course we get then nicer images we can also activate the timer for two seconds five seconds or 10 seconds and we can do multiple shots and we have also a menu for the images we can select the image size we can activate the anti-shake face detection smile capture different effects we have different languages we can activate the date and then have it even on the image and we can set the power off frequency sound effects and even format the micro sd card which is highly recommended at the beginning and similar thing also in the video mode here we are in the video mode and we can start shooting the video you can see here live recording the video but of course we can also do some settings here we have the video signs which we can choose uh, different effects also language here date auto power power off similar things as with the photo mode but of course especially with the resolution that's dedicated to the video resolution and this camera comes also with a telephoto mode you can see that here we can zoom in and zoom out of course it's a little bit too close but outside it works really good and then we have a photo light we can even activate that while we are shooting a video you can see that here i press this here and it will activate this strong video light and to transfer the pictures we have two options we can open this flap here remove the micro sd card put it into the computer or we can hook the camera up directly with this cable usb c to normal usb a and then transfer it it will show up as a normal drive and then you don't even have to remove the micro sd card this is the recommended way
So everything looks really nice, it has also a nice microphone built in that's here in the front and I've been shooting a selfie video already where you can see or hear how good the microphone is. Audio test 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, audio test 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And so the question is, what's my personal recommendation? Of course, you have to find on your own if it's worth to buy or not. I mean, these cameras, uh, there are a lot of such or very similar cameras. They are around on uh, Amazon or almost everywhere for around $50 dollars with very very similar functions similar quality there's no big difference maybe you'll find a camera which has video stabilization but even if you have video stabilization usually picture quality is very poor and the video quality is very poor here's the picture quality a little bit better than the video quality with one i've tested recently the video quality with this stabilization was a little bit better than the photo quality but what they have in common i mean the quality is anyway no matter where you make the images or videos is is very limited and especially especially when you're inside i mean that's absolutely crazy there's almost nothing to see i would say there have been uh, digital cameras in the year 2000 already which have made better uh, images and better videos than this thing here and that's more than 20 years since that's pretty disappointing that such cameras are still sold and we cannot find the old ones which would be easy to produce for about this price but it's also some kind of difficult to find some good alternate solutions of course you can buy a smartphone like a prepaid smartphone for around 50 dollars you will probably have uh, about similar uh, quality of the photos and videos maybe even a little bit better than on the other hand of course uh, your children will have access or could have access to the internet maybe that's something which you want to prevent and so this goal could be reached with this camera but yeah again i mean the package is awesome what you get the two batteries cable camera everything even charger but the end result could be very disappointing but if you're interested I still put down the link to the Amazon listing down into the description so you can do whatever you want to do and I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and I'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up, subscribe my channel, thanks for watching, see you next time.